In this video series, we are reviewing beginner information for VexIQ programming using the Robot C development environment. This is Beginning VexIQ Graphical Robot C, Episode 2. We're going to be going over motor and sensor setup details. The first thing that we want to do is click on Window, Menu Level, and be sure that uh, you're set to Basic. That way our programs behave the same way and show the same things in different dialog boxes and menu options. In order to successfully compile a program, you need to be sure that the motor and sensor setup defined in your program matches the, the devices that you've got attached to your robot brain. If they're not the same, then when you go to compile and run your program, it's going to fail because it, there's a difference and it needs to be fixed. To start off, Click on New File, and as soon as you do that, you'll notice that a motor and sensor setup uh, button becomes available. Go ahead and click on Motor and Sensor Setup, and you'll notice right away that there are a variety of different options that come up about the different models available. And really, each one of these different options has a variety of motors and sensors configured. So if you happen to have one of these built, let's like say the Clawbot IQ, then you're all set. Choose the model you've built. If you've built your own model, pick a default model that's close to yours. Let's say Clawbot IQ. Maybe you've got all the motors and maybe a few different sensors set up. Now me personally, I like to pick the standard drive base and then go into motors and devices and erase everything and kind of start from scratch. So once you've picked your configuration model, click on the motors tab and go in and define the motors that you have. You'll see this port and then one, two, three, four. These line up with the ports that are on the robot brain. So you need to configure each port with the motor that you have on your robot. I'm just, I'm going to switch this and uh, say I've got robot, I've got motors on port 1 and port 2. The reversed and drive motor side is for helping to define the drive base chassis that you've set up. Uh, we're not going to discuss that in this video. We'll talk about it in a future video. All you need to worry about right now is telling which motor you have set up. Next click on devices and go in and uh, configure devices according again to the ports that you have set up. If you happen to change motor to something else by accident, you can't actually switch this back to motor. The way to resolve this is to click on no sensor, go back to your motors tab and say Vex IQ motor. So now when you go back to devices, you'll see that the sensor type again is set to motor. It's important to note here also that a motor is a sensor. It does have electronics on the inside that help it count how many times it's turned or how fast it's going. We will talk about that in more detail in future video. Once you've defined your devices and your motors, go ahead and click on OK and you're all set, ready now to program. So in this video, we reviewed setting up your motors and your sensors in the Motor and Sensor Setup dialog box. Thank you. See you in the next video.